Art's a whole nother world. And when they gave me that opportunity, I was like, I gotta take it. Nevin McNally, I'm a Quincy native and been an artist my entire life, but now at NAPI, just cruising, trying to figure that world out as well as the art world. So balancing two aspects of life for sure. The kindergarten year, I was, we were all drawing dinosaurs, I think. And I did a T-Rex with uh, bib overalls on it, just like some blue jean overalls on a T-Rex. And the other classmates loved it. And they said, I want my own dinosaur. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess this is something good going on. And I think it was that sense of validation that really encouraged me to stick with it. I was pretty lost after high school. I didn't know what to do with art. There's always that bad reputation of community colleges, which is unfortunate. And I think I kind of had that skepticism, but then when I gave it a chance, because they gave me a chance, I'm so glad I went to John Wood because I saved so much money in the long run, made great connections. If I could do it all over again, I would definitely do John Wood again. With Addie Seabark Rob, she gave me a scholarship not knowing if I'd be a good student or not. So John Wood took a chance on me, which was awesome. And then Deb Myers from Culver Stockton reached out to me and said, hey, you should come to Culver. I was like, I don't even know what Culver is. But I did, and I'm so glad I did because she's a great person, made more connections there. So that's what's great about the art community and college as well. We're all connected, trying to help each other out. But I would say the biggest impact is definitely the Quincy Art Center one, because I, I won first place my uh, junior year. And for winning that, they give you a week-long intensive study at the University of Illinois. So uh, me and my art teacher, my high school art teacher at the time, Jeff Kennigan, got to go to U of I for a week and do an intensive week of just painting, sketching, and he did ceramics. And that also was a huge influence. It's always a gamble going into an art show because a lot of ones you have to pay for and then you don't know if you're going to get in. So you really just have to take that risk on yourself. They're really great at making you feel welcome in a sense, but there's also that subjectivity because each art show they have a different judge and then it kind of is based off what they're subjective opinion is. Let's say I have mental images of what I want my paintings to look like and it's never there. Like I can even sketch it on paper, but once it gets to the canvas, it's not what I originally had on paper. And that's that's a constant fight. You can't be too attached to something that you really love because that's just the process of doing drafts and getting to the canvas. It's gonna change. But you change it to a point where you can love it again. Well, I, I would like this to be the start of something big at John Wood. I'm hoping it snowballs into other things. I know people in Hannibal have beautiful galleries. I would like to do my own at Culver Stockton since I'm an alumni there. Goal of mine would eventually get to some St. Louis exhibits. That'd be phenomenal. But think big, dream big. I mean, I wouldn't mind going to Europe either. Or even maybe one day teach at a collegiate level. Those would both make me satisfied with art. And my Culver Stockton professor, Deb, and me and her were on the same side with, oh, our art's so good, it should speak for us. And she said, no, that's not the case. It'd be great if it was, but in willing for your art to grow, you really have to be able to get out in front of a camera, talk to people, because it's all about connections. I would have to say two people, really, because Addie Seabark Rob gave me the chance and gave me the scholarship to come here. She didn't have to do that. It was super nice of her. And then I would say, Second biggest impact and probably the main one was John Bartz. I took his painting class my uh, second semester. Or no, I think it was my second year. And he said, try out oil paint. And then he introduced me to that, completely changed my perspective on art. If it wasn't for John Bartz pushing me to try oil instead of acrylic, I don't know if I'd still be painting today. So if I had any advice for him, I would just say, see what they're into and help them grow because you can't you can't teach them something they don't have any interest in but you can't teach them to grow within themselves because that's the whole point of art is there's no rules you know you can draw some crazy stuff whatever comes to mind but if they're trying to constraint you it's almost like school you know all the rules and all that you don't know how to think outside the box going forward thank you sir that's awesome i was i don't know i probably just rambled a bunch but it was fun <laughs>